Alright, uh, ladies, lasses and lassos, I guess. Uh, this guide assumes that you know how to use a computer and that you were lazy like me. So I will be using a lot of shortcuts. I will show you where to get the tools you need, how to get them to work and how to use them so that you can freely change your name in Monster Hunter World, which is a feature that is unfortunately unavailable otherwise. It would be a lot more convenient if you could just, you know, pay for it, like a character change coupon, but you can't. So if you want to change your name like it's some sort of fashion statement, you'll have to get hacky and wacky and start doing weird shit. I'm also listening music, but you won't get to hear any of that, because YouTube. So first of all, you brainlets uh, use Google. Wow, amazing. So you want to install Cheat Engine. I know, this is a very difficult task that few can accomplish. It's even harder to get it off the official site. Look at the URL, you don't want to download something from, I don't know, any other random site. Ain't nobody got time for shovelware. So you download this. Cool shit. Nice. You save it in a folder where you can find it back. Wow, downloads. Oh my god. So you open it. You go to downloads. You can already tell I'm quite lazy. That's why I have these shortcuts. But for you brainlets, I will show you how to find it. Downloads. Nice. Alright, so you click it, you install it, you click yes, yes, yes. If you want it on another drive, you change the drive letter and bam, there you go. Cool, you got it installed. Nice. So the next thing you're going to do, if it asks you to do the tutorial, just skip that tutorial for now. You want to get the Monster Hunter World Cheat Engine table. However, in this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it manually because like any proper PC player I have a lot of mods installed because mods are awesome that's why the cheat table doesn't actually work for me and if you download and install a lot of mods you may find yourself in a similar situation where the convenient cheat table just doesn't work so you go to the Nexus site, get, grab that uh, cheat engine table with the power of googling, download it, make sure you are logged in, otherwise you can't download, so if you don't have an account, go make that. I assume you know how to do that. You download it, you save it, for me it's saved in uh, downloads, but like any proper browser you can just click this and some uh, go to the folder. Bam, I'm here. So what is in this zip? Oh, hey, it's a, it's a, it's a table. So you unzip that stuff, extract here. Review 7 zip, you do that. Uh, now you go look for the table, which is over here. You cut that or copy paste, but I like to cut it. So I do Ctrl X because I can't be arsed to click one more time. Uh, you go to my cheat tables, a folder that should have been installed or should have been created after installing cheat engine. You paste it here, but obviously I already have it, so I'm just gonna skip it for now. Cool, okay, so you got all everything you need. Alright, so we already have the game loaded in. This name is kind of an in joke between me and my friend group. I already changed it some time ago, but we are going to change it again because um, reject the weep stick, return to bonk, you know? So this is going to be Caveman Carl, yep. So what you want to do is just start Cheat Engine. Can be asked to find its location? No worry, you have your search option in Windows. Yes. You open it, select the process this bad boy load the associated table yes please 
nice. So I will show you how to do it the easy way, which is if you don't have any mods or not enough mods to change the memory addresses. Um, I don't really like this song either. I want something different for the mood. In the meantime, you select all these nice things. Well, not that. Come on, where's my... Ah, there it is. There we go, that's a good song. Alright. Okay, so after selecting compact mode and deselecting it, you should come into this view. This is the view that you need if you are doing it um, the old school way, basically. Which is what I'm going to do after showing you how to do it the easy way. So the easy way is just, you click mark a script, you click save editor. And you get a lot of uh, information of which you want to check out your character. Nice. And then here you go, you got your name. So all you need to do, if you don't have mods, is simply right click here. And then you click change this record and select value. As you can see, it's a really weird what the fuck is this kind of thing for me. But here your character name should be there. So you change it to whatever you want. Like uh, in my case it would be Caveman Carl. But it would be kind of stupid for me to change that value. Because it wouldn't work for me. Caveman Carl. You press enter. And bam. Make sure to select the name. You know, by clicking that X. That should have changed your name. The change should display here. Like I said, it won't work with me because of mods. But the change is not permanent yet. Because if you want to permanently change it, you have to load into... No, you have to save. So you click save. Which I'm not going to do right now. And once you have saved, you need to change your location. So you need to reload the game, basically. Just going from Gathering Hub to whatever other place you have is all you need to do. And then you save again. So, to uh, sum it up, because I think I went a little bit fast here. You check the name, change the value by double clicking or using the right click and change record change it into what you want save the game reload the area and save again so I would now save again that was uh, the easy way now I'm actually going to do it the old school way so I want to restart cheat engine because I kind of don't want these changes to persist I should have probably prefaced this guide with make a backup but eh. all right so for the old school way since my character is called Zephyr S. Tardis, we are going to search for that value. And these scripts will actually not do anything for us, but this one will. Don't ask me exactly what it does, all I know is that it's required in order to do anything. So first... Oh, right. It's not an... It's a string. Right. Wasn't reading again. Okay, so a little bit of computer science for you uh, nitwits out there. A string is basically 
um, a co uh, computer science term for an assortment of characters. So basically letters, search for letters in this case. Because you, you're not looking for bytes, you're not looking for numerical values, you are just going to change the name. So now it's gonna blurb up several addresses. Not too many, luckily. And uh, f the following thing I'm going to do is um, the very reason you should be making backups. Because especially with the manual way, you can absolutely, at some point, you will just destroy your save file. I haven't destroyed my save file thus far, but I'm prepared in the event that I do. So change the value of... So there, there are two ways we can go about this. I can try to brute force it and just change the value of all of them at the same time. Or try to find out which one it's going... which uh, memory address is the one that I should change. But because I have a backup, I don't really care. So we're gonna change the value of all of them. That's right. Caveman Carl, it is. Now it's Caveman Carl. Oh, shit. Um, looks like I um, forgot how to spell. Caveman Carl. There we go. Bruh. <sighs> well, considering that I haven't saved anything, I'll just uh, reload the area and try again. The reason I'm leaving this part unedited is because you will most likely encounter the same f things that I am encountering right now. Oh god damn it. New scan. There we go. So, since I already clicked new scan, it's gonna be first scan. Okay, nice. We got uh, fewer memory addresses this time, so that's actually better in my opinion. The less changes you make, the less likely you are to break. And this time, let's not screw it up. What the... Um... <laughs> No, I can't really explain this. No, no I can't. Well, the most important thing with this is to just be patient. Because if you're impatient, you're going to make mistakes, you're going to do silly things, and you are going to regret it. If something feels completely off, if it's like not working as intended, abort, do not continue. Just as I am not saving my progress right now. Because this is weird. Mm. 
Okay, so we're not touching this again. New scan. Let's just change it to Carl and see what happens. That is interesting. Okay, well, I guess if we just do it like this, it uh, changes the value as intended. Caveman Carl. Alright. Caveman Carl. Now we save. Do I have all of it selected though? Make sure that you have it selected so it sticks in memory. Because otherwise if you don't select it, the game will change the values again. And basically by ticking the boxes, you're telling the game, hey, um, keep the memory address the way it is right now. Do not change it. So now we are saving. All right. We move to another location. It should still be Caveman Carl. We release the addresses. Let them go. And then we simply reload the game while saving. Yes. Start game, and I'm Caveman Carl. So uh, yeah, that uh, was it. If you want, I can also do a tutorial about how to change uh, your gender and all that kind of stuff. And a tutorial on how to uh, migrate uh, save files from one player to another. But in absence of other tutorials, uh, if there's enough, um, yeah, if there's enough interest, I will see what I can do. All right. So uh, stay cool, keep hunting. Ple please don't ruin hunts for other people. Like, please don't. I I know saying please don't cheat is a little bit redundant in this kind of video, but. There's quite a difference between um, making your character strong and just changing your name, you know? Y you have cheating and then you have cheating, if you know what I mean. Just don't bother other people with whatever the heck you're doing, okay? Thanks. And make backups, always.